hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm back again with another video so this video is going to be pretty different but i hope that you guys watch it to the end and i hope that you guys like it and i hope that someone out there can relate to this video in any type of way don't forget to like comment and subscribe and um let's get into this video so two weeks ago i told you guys that i was starting my healing journey and I had two options. Option one was to go ghost, to just come back when I felt like I was in a better place in my life. And option two was to take you guys along with me. Now, I was really conflicted about that option. So I asked you guys on my community tab, would you guys like to come on my healing journey with me? And majority of you guys said yes. It was filled with a lot of emotions and a lot of negative thoughts and I thought, what if they unsubscribe, you know, this is not the content that they subscribe for. Or, you know, what if they just don't like it? People have problems of their own that's going on and they don't want to hear or watch mine. And it was just a lot of negative thoughts. And I thought to myself, finally, one day, that instead of thinking about all the negative things that can happen, how about thinking about all the positive things that can happen? So... I decided to go through with it so now you're watching this video so hi <laughs> welcome to the beginning of my healing journey i've been telling you guys multiple times that i've been in a slump and i've been trying to get out of that slump this slump has been going on for about three three to four months and it seems like the more that I try to get out of this slump, the deeper that I fall into it. And for the past two weeks, I have, I've been feeling not myself. It started with just me not having the motivation for anything, which I told you guys in one video that I'm lacking motivation like I, I I don't feel motivated and it seems like the more that I lose the more less motivated I become and it started like that it started with me just losing my motivation and then it started with me not having energy to do anything and then along came the emotional outbursts I would be at work and I would take my lunch break and I would just start crying in the car and I was so confused I'm like why am I feeling like this why am I going through this and it finally hit me that I was so deep into this slump that I was on autopilot and I didn't realize the hole that I was digging myself into but I had a mindset of fake it till you make it you know like just fake it till you make it and you know if you fake happy you eventually become happy if you fake like you got everything together then eventually everything will fall into place and it got to the point where it was like I have to be honest to myself and I have to be honest with you guys for the past two weeks I have neglected myself I haven't worked out in almost two weeks my eating habits are really really bad my sleeping schedule is off and i'm super emotional because i am simply not happy and it sucks to say but i have to say it one day i decided to step on the scale now i don't know why i stepped on this scale in the mental state that I was in, but I just did. And normally I wouldn't check my weight. I actually don't like the scale at all. <laughs> but for this particular moment, I feel like it was necessary. And I'm actually glad it was there because it snapped me out of the self-destruction that I was going through. So um, anyway, I stepped on the scale and I saw that I had gained 15 pounds. And in that very moment, I was like, what the hell? 
have I been doing? I've been trying my hardest to put out content and let you guys know that I'm still trying. You know, I'm still I'm still doing my thing when in reality I'm 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 going through a lot. I'm going through a lot. And I need to do a lot of self-reflecting. I need to I need to heal myself. I need to start this healing journey. I just, I kept trying to get out of this slump and it's just like, it's just nothing was working because I lacked the motivation to, to, to do anything. So, um, yeah, this was a very hard video to make because no one wants to come out and say, I'm going through things, I'm not happy, especially me because I want my platform to be positive you know i want my platform to be about women empowerment motivation positivity i want you to feel positive when you leave my channel and i felt like i couldn't be that and i couldn't create content like that when i'm just one big ball of negative energy <laughs> like it just it doesn't work that way on this healing journey i plan on just doing things that i normally wouldn't do Okay, I plan on getting out more because I've been in the house and in the gym and <laughs> I've become extremely social, socially awkward. Um, I've made a vision board months ago and I really want to start marking things off of that vision board. <laughs> so that's what I want to do. I want to start getting back to eating healthy and getting back to working out because when I do those things, I feel good. It's supposed to be November and I'm challenging myself to think positive for the last couple of months, for the last months of 2022. Hope you guys continue on this journey with me. I hope that you guys um, still watch and support because I'm nowhere near where I wanna be. Hey you guys, so it is finally the first episode of our healing vlog series or whatever you would like to call it. I already feel embarrassed, I already feel like disappointed in myself and stuff, like do I really want to put that out there, but I'm kind of happy that I decided to start this, this series. By the time you guys see this vlog, it would have been another video, a sit down video that I did before I started this series. So if you haven't watched it, highly recommend to go watch it. Today is October 31st. So tomorrow is officially a new month. It's gonna be November the 1st. Um, and I think that's when I'm gonna start dropping my healing vlogs and stuff like that. I don't wanna bring none of this into the new year. I haven't worked out in two weeks, so I'm actually nervous to start working out again tomorrow. Trigger warning, um, if you do not want to hear about binging or anything like that, uh, probably skip like three or four minutes into the video. But um, I really want to talk about my eating habits for a quick little second. When I first started my weight loss journey, I told you guys that I had a really bad relationship with food. I had um, a bad eating disorder. I used to binge and then after binging I used to you know not eat for periods of times and stuff like that. What I've been doing y'all like I will eat 
and then probably like two hours later I eat again and it's, it's I'm not hungry it's like I would tell myself like girl you're not hungry but I'm eating and then I would eat again a couple hours I eat again then I eat again and that's what I've just been doing for the past for the past couple of weeks I've just been eating 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 and just not caring I'm a mother I work full-time I have bills to pay and I feel like a lot of my like a lot of the problems that I've been having like personally all that tends to pile like on you it's piling on me and I feel like that is what triggered this slump so it's just been hard you guys like it's really 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 been hard but I'm going to do the best that I can to get out of this slump and I'm going to do the best that I can to get back on track saying it out loud gets me emotional but I'm happy that I'm saying it because it puts a lot of things in perspective for me I'm a strong ass black woman <laughs> and one thing that I know is that I'm gonna get through it like I always get through it eventually hi my loves welcome back the shrinkage is real y'all okay the shrinkage is real don't play with her all right she is not to be played with i am in a better space mentally i'm about to go work out you guys gonna take a little pre-workout this is my third time working out since i took that break you guys know i took like a two week break from working out so i'm still doing cardio i'm trying to get my body just used to like back to working out you know i don't want to just go in lifting heavy and everything like that because you know i don't want to i don't want to hurt my body you know i don't want to hurt myself when you really want something you find the time for it so i really want to get back on track when it comes to working out and everything like that so Gotta find the time for it. I'm just trying to think positive just because thinking negative um, really stresses you out, you guys. Like, when you're stressed out, it really does make you sick. Like, it makes you feel sick. Like, for me, like, I've been, like, sick to my stomach. I've felt nauseous. It's, like, really a battle for me, you know? But when you think positive, it's, like, it just, it makes a whole difference. But it's hard, you know? It's hard thinking positive when you're going through a lot of things in your life you know but I'm trying you guys like I'm really trying there's a lot of things I want to accomplish on this healing journey and one of them is creating boundaries for myself I want to create boundaries reading this book has just made me realize that I want to read more you know I want to go out I want to get some sun I really want to be in my soft woman era like I really do want to be in a place where I'm genuinely happy. I really just want to be like genuinely like happy and at peace spiritually, financially, emotionally, um, physically, everything, you know? Enjoy the luxury of life, not knowing each other for real. Hold up. Lotus flower bomb, firefly. Let me go. Take me home. Flower bomb, let me guess your favorite fragrance. And you got that bomb. I'm trying to in nature. No disrespecting, baby. Just trying to make you smile. Try to keep my spirits up. That's why I lose it down. Try to keep your spirits up. Little rock away. My little skincare routine. I'm not done, but it's late, so. Um, I'm about to oil my hair. Then I'm going to put it up in a little bitty banana or whatever. I've been going through a lot of things lately. 
and I haven't really been enjoying my journey. My goal is to start enjoying my journey again. Start like trying new things, doing different things. Late at night, you guys, so I'm not gonna go over it in this vlog, but my next vlog, I will be going over this list, you guys. If anyone wants to do it with me, it's not like a challenge, it's just, it's things that I feel like is gonna help me get back on track. Nice little pineapple bun. Now I'm about to go to sleep. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next vlog.